P-N-E-U-M-A-T-I-C. Pneumatic. Exactly. Exactly. E-X-A-C. No. I mean, you were exactly right. You are so going to win this spelling bee. Thanks. But the other kids are brilliant, and they come from families with more than one smart kid. You know, I took second place in my big spelling bee. Really? Mm-hmm. Would have won that thing, too, if it hadn't been for politics. There's always politics in kids' competition. No, it was the word politics. I spelled it P-O-L-I-T-I-C-K-S. So you got it right. <laughs> Zach, we're busy. This better be an emergency. It is. I need money for the game room. <laughs> That's your emergency? Glad you understand. <laughs> Forget it. I told you over and over, if you can't afford something, you either wait or you save for it. Don't tell him that. The bucks. Zach Martin. <laughs> is proud to welcome you to Boston's two-day championship spelling bee. Now have fun and behave. <laughs> you know, last year's when I got that joke. Why are you dressed like that? <laughs> because it makes me look good. Remember, our school volunteered to help fix up apartments, so I hope it looks good spotted with paint. Well, limo. I cannot be seen on a bus. Are the windows tinted? Yes! With gum and dead flies. Now come on. Take that, you dirty alien! No fair! I got you right in the eye stalk! <laughs> Excuse me, but how would you like... I'll take it. I'll pay you back later. I'm sure you will. Or else. <laughs> Don't worry. You won't have to or else me. It's only a buck. No! You owe me 30 bucks. How'd that happen? You stick at this game. I spent my money by this afternoon plus 20%. Say, why don't you give me your address and I'll mail it to you. Mail it to me? Do I look like a big, dumb idiot? From here, you just look big. Hey, princess. It's air S. <laughs> Whatever air S. The rest of us are busting our humps painting. Uh, I painting too? Fingers don't count. You're right. I'll do my toes. <laughs> I, and by then, part of the idea of volunteer work is for the volunteers to actually do the work. <laughs> and you are doing a very fine job. <laughs> Lenny can talk right now. Sure. But the sister, oh, Lenny, we give her sister, Dominic. Not everyone feels the pain of others like I do. <laughs> oh, you're going to feel the pain. I'm going to check the volunteers. Madeline, when I get back, you better not be lollygagging. I can't believe we do all the work and you get all the credit. We all do what we do best. You do everything the best, London. Can I name a cat after you? Is it a purebred? No! No. <laughs> London, if you don't have paint, could you at least put down some more newspaper? Hey! Portia tied up pictures in the paper. Look, I can't believe Portia got in the paper for doing charity work. I mean, I would do some charity work, too, if I wasn't stuck here doing this. This is charity work. Well, then... <laughs> Could you hold still? You're blocking my life. Man, this is not playtime. Get it down immediately. <laughs> Fast enough? Well, now you've dented the floor. You're going to have to work through lunch. Uh, but, uh, not you, dear. Why don't you take a break? <laughs> if you insist. I'm not supposed to show favoritism, but you demand, Cody. <laughs> Thanks. I've already cleared a place above my bed for my trophy, so I hope I win. Otherwise, there will be this big, empty space there, mocking me for the rest of my life. 
Way to be confident. All right, honey, there's nothing to be nervous about. You'll do just fine. Unless, of course, you choke like I did. Way to give a pep talk. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Zach. How nice of you to be here to support Cody. What? Oh, yeah, sure. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Listen, if you happen to see a really huge kid who looks like he can eat me, mm -hmm. tell him. Hello, Zach. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Come here. Where's my money? I gotta get on stage for the spelling bee. I thought only nerves were into spelling bees. Do not make fun of spelling bees. I would never do that. <laughs> spelling bees are cool. You better pay me, or else. Or else what? Do I need to spell it out for you? Save the spelling for the bee, you big winner. <laughs> By the way, my money's on you. What? I mean, your money's on you. <laughs> I'm ready to work now. Be still my heart. Someone should get a picture of this. London, London, London. No, she, London. Down here. Oh, oh, here. I spoke too soon. Hey, London. I wonder how they found out about your charity work. Wait, I have no idea. Oh, hey, Tom. Mark, did this shot work for you? <laughs> Psoriasis. P S O. R-I-A-S-I-S. -S. Psoriasis. That is correct. Woo! Cody Rose! <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I got a little carried away there. Barbara. Your word is fracas. Could you repeat the word, please? Fracas. <laughs> Country of origin? France. Definition. A disorderly disturbance or fight. Could you use the word in a sentence? If you don't spell this word soon, there will be a fracas. Fracas. F-R-A-K-I-S. Fracas. Ooh, so close. F-R-A-C-I-S. C-E-S. I-S. U-S. U-S done. Now, go, get off the stage. Yes! Thank you. Uh, and that concludes today's competition. The two finalists going into tomorrow's round are Cody Martin <laughs> and Maynard K. Oh, Carrie. Yes. There have been complaints about offensive behavior by some parents in the audience. I'm not surprised. Some of these people get way too caught up in these competitions. <laughs> All the complaints have been about you. <laughs> Complaint. It's politics, I tell you. P O L I T I C S. Politics. Get over it. Look, the next time Cody gets a word right, try not to start the wave. I'm not a child, Mr. Mosby. I will control myself. <laughs> hey, I've got good news. There's another way for you to pay off your debt. You want to be best friends forever? No. Convince your brother to lose to me on purpose, and we're even. And if I don't? I know, I know. Or else. Right. Uh, a little. I'm so close to winning, but I'm so close to losing. Don't worry. Your big brother has a way to get rid of all your stress. Really? What should I do? Lose. <laughs> Don't think so. Hear me out. If you make up your mind right now to lose, then the pressure's off. Even for you, that's a stupid idea. <laughs> it's a great idea. It's my motto. Aim low and avoid disappointment. <laughs> I thought your motto was sleep and eat. <laughs> no, that's my other motto. And it's not as easy as it seems. Sometimes you eat too much and you can't sleep. Sometimes you sleep too much and you miss a meal. <laughs> wow. Your life is a real delicate balance. <laughs> you have no idea. Trust me. You're going to be a lot happier if you lose this B. Why? Because I borrowed money from Maynard K, and he's going to pummel me into pudding. I like pudding. Get the money from somebody else. I've already borrowed from everyone in the hotel. You're the only one I can turn to. Well, forget it. I already gave you all of my money, not to mention half a pint of AB negative. Forget the money. Forget the blood. Maynard will only call off the debt if I get you to throw the spelling bee. Zach, 
This spelling bee is important to me. It's a chance for people to stop calling me a loser. Who calls you a loser? You do. <laughs> Look, buddy, there will be other spelling bees, but you only have one brother. Mom's still young. She can have more. <laughs> Fine. This is my last will and testament. I sad, isn't it? Sure is. You spelled textbooks wrong. <laughs> No. You haven't even heard what I had to say. Just sounded like your, can I borrow money voice? <laughs> Hello, Muddy. No. Norman, my main man. No. Mr. Mosby, my other main man. No. How are you supposed to pay people back if they don't lend you any money? Maddie, huh? Why are you so tired? Oh, I don't know. Could it be because I worked all day yesterday fixing up that apartment? Well, how about a needy family that goes shopping with their wealthy friends? That'll show Portia. <laughs> Which has nothing to do with being charitable. Charity requires sacrifice. Hey, I gave up a whole day of shopping to post for these pictures. Oh, you're a saint. <laughs> nice picture, London. I think the work you're doing on the behalf of the poor and needy is really needed. And speaking of need... I really need $36. Okay. Yep. I was going to throw these bills out anyway. They're all wrinkly. <laughs> Thanks, London. This money is going to save my life. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. You only left me with a buck. What do you me? I know you love Cody, but try to control yourself. You won't hear a peep out of me. Maynard? You can do it, Maynard! <laughs> Just trying to be a good sport? You mad. You mad. P N U M A T I C. Pneumatic? Oh, close. But close only counts in horseshoes. <laughs> now, if Cody spells it correctly, then he will be Boston's next spelling bee champion. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Zach, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just so nervous for Cody that I had a twitch. Oh, don't worry, he knows this word. Oh, Zach, your brother will finally stop thinking of himself as a loser. Who calls him a loser? You do. <laughs> Again, the word is pneumatic. Pneumatic. Uh. Uh. Ah? Uh, there's no ah uh in pneumatic. What is he doing? He's being a good brother. What? Cody, don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Just spell that word right. <laughs> One more outburst from the Martin family, and Cody will forfeit. <laughs> pneumatic. P N E U M A T I C. Pneumatic. myself for helping that family. Do you honestly think you helped those people? Of course. I'll bet a picture of their apartment was never in the paper before. Now they'll be the envy of all their pathetic neighbors. <laughs> Excuse me. We're looking for Maddie Fitzpatrick. Oh, that's me. How can I help you? Hi, we live in the apartment you and your friends fixed up and we just wanted to thank you for all your hard work. It was my pleasure. <laughs> right. Um, anyway, Maddie, uh, we wanted to thank you for the toys you left for the kids. Toys? What toys? You're welcome. But how did you find out they're from me? <laughs> they're supposed to be anonymous. <laughs> well, we noticed the uh, toy oven had Chef Maddie written on it, so... Well, <laughs> we baked you a cake. So you baked a cake in an oven that uses a light bulb? <laughs> no, our real oven, which is even more amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You guys want a piece? Why didn't they bake me a cake? Because you really didn't give them anything. I gave them publicity. That was for you. I won. I won. I'm not a loser. I'm a winner. W-I-N-N-E-R. Good job. Thanks. 
If I were you, I'd start running. No. I have to face up to this. Even if it's going to cost me my face. Want to borrow my trophy to defend yourself? No. He'd just eat it. I'm going to get a first aid kit. If you're going to beat me up, can we do this in the park? That way, at least when I fall, it'll be on grass. Talking about beating me up. What did you mean when you said, or else? I meant, either you give me my money or else, I'll tell your mother. Tell my mother? That was your big or else? You're the worst bully in the history of bullies. I'm not afraid of my mom. You should be. Zach, what did you do now? Nothing, Mommy. He borrowed $43.26 from me in the game room and he can't pay it back. Only $30? It was that stinking interest rate. Zach, didn't I tell you neither a borrower nor a lender be? Well, I'm halfway there. I never lend. Zach, you are in big trouble. Well, doesn't it count for something that I didn't let Cody throw the spelling bee like Maynard tried to make me do? You did what? Dad, I can explain. I... Don't bother. You have disgraced the grand tradition of the American spelling bee. <laughs> No crossword puzzles for a month, young man. Can I finish the one I started? No. Now, come on. We're meeting Graham at the beef shack. Ow, 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 ow. Wow. Hearing what a terrible thing Maynard did kind of makes what I did seem pretty minor. Does it? Nope. N-O-P-E. Nope. O-W, 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 O-W. Who is it? Can't say. But I've got gifts. <laughs> Don't worry about the mask. Now I'm here to help you. Oh, but it's a secret, and you can't tell anyone. And it's going to bring you inner joy. Oh, boy, it's hot under here. Adam, you know, this is so sweet. How can we ever thank you? Bake me a cake and bring it to the tip tin. Ask for London. Okay. Oh. Who, by the way, is not me. 